Hola amigos, <laughs> what's up guys, Matt Gaish Tutorials here, and basically every time I make a tutorial I say the exact same thing, I'm going to try to change that, so just to have fun, um, today we're going to be learning strings and cool methods that we could use later on in the future and will be useful actually, so I haven't uploaded in three days I believe, and I'm going to try to change that, sorry I've been really busy going to the weight room and stuff like that, so let's just get started, so basically we're going to do var, I'm just going to do first name equals Bob. Now, I'm basically, I'm going to explain this. All right, so a string, basically a string is a sentence of a variable, a sentence of characters, basically. It's basically a sentence that's hold by a variable. And this is just basically how you do it. It's just var first name equals quotes, and you just put your, your string in it. This is basically a string right now. So you can add strings. And when you put a, when you do some value in prompt, it comes out as string. I don't know if you guys knew that. But yeah, let's just get started. So we're gonna do var space equals just a space. I'm gonna do var. Now first, actually before I show you that, I'm gonna do here. I'm, I'm gonna change this to full name. full name and I'm going to do plus space plus and here I'm just going to have a, a fake name and put Smith I believe that's how you spell it I'm not sure uh, whatever I'm just going to leave it as that all right so uh, before we run this we're going to do alert let's display the variable and let's see what we get. So I'm going to click live, make sure it's over here, and we get Bob Smith. That's exactly what we entered. You could do it that way, or actually you could just do it with three different variables. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do var first name equals Bob var, not bar, var space equals space and the last one of our last name equals Smith and I we need one called full name and we're just gonna put first name plus space plus last name so these are all strings and basically full name is going to be equal to all this. Now we're going to run this again and we get the exact same output. It's really simple strings, not that hard actually. And we're going to do some cool features about strings. So first cool feature about string is that you can get certain characters. What I mean by that is I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to make a variable called of our first name and I'll make it equal to Bob so we have a variable first name and it's equal to Bob and then we're gonna have one called char and it's gonna be equal to first name dot so these are all methods that string have you have bold blink I'm gonna do char at now what exactly does this mean i'm going to put this as zero so i could explain all right so basically what this is is y you have a number for each character basically a character is one letter so a computer does not start at one it starts at zero so if i put zero it's gonna display b not for you people that don't believe me I'm going to put alert, char, do live, and I get B. Because it's the index of, the, I mean, it's not the index, it's the, where's the char at. So, <clears throat> hopefully that made sense. It's a cool thing, actually, because what you can do now, if you want to find something, find a certain character, you can uh, do it pretty cool. And I'm going to show you how exactly right now, just... Uh, Gotta delete this. 
and I'm going to do a new variable called index. I'm going to do var index of equals, and let me just delete this from right here. And basically, <clears throat> what it is, is uh, the index is, I don't know, I really don't know how, to, how I can explain this, I'm just going to write it. So, first name dot index of, all right, I know I can explain it all. So basically index of all the character. So if I put index of B or O for now, cause I'm just gonna put O cause it's the one in the middle. So if I put index of O, it should give me one because remember it starts at zero. So they just to subtract one. So do one, two, subtract one, so it's one. And yeah, so index of should equal one. Now that once we have that, we could do if index value is not equal to negative one. And the reason I have negative one is because in almost every single programming language, negative one basically means error. Basically, index of is going is, is gonna to equal negative one if the letter is not in there. So then I'm going to do make a new variable called char and I'm going to do first name dot char at and I'm going to put index of so basically right after that we're going to alert what we're getting I'm going to do char let's do an, uh, an else statement else alert Uh, <laughs> I don't want to spell it wrong. Character was not found. All right, so I'm going to explain this before I run this. So we have a, a variable called first name. We have a variable called first name. And then we have, we get the index of a certain character. The character we're going to get the index of is zero. I mean, it's a uh, O. So then if index is not equal to is not equal to symbol if it's not equal to negative one basically if it, it is found get the get get the the character that's in that index so basically it's going to get one it's going to get the character that's in one and basically it's just going to return this exact same character and if it's not found it's just going to it's going to we have put a basic uh basic uh if and else so if it's not found, it's just going to say character was not found. So I'm just going to run this and see what we get. And now we don't get anything. And most likely is because I spelled something wrong. So we're just going to check this over real quick. First name, first name, index of, index of. I'm going to pause the video just to see what I spelled wrong. Like it was a simple uh, error. Basically, here I put index value, so I just changed all of them to index value just so I don't confuse myself with this method. So basically, just make make sure you spelled everything right. I checked it, and everything should be right. And here, look, we got the exact same character that we entered here. And as you can see, we're just not alerting that character. We didn't just put a uh, display. Oh, no, we, we got the index of that. Uh, we got the, the index of that character. And then we use chart at to display what character was in that index. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. That's the tutorial for today. We introduced strings. We went over some cool methods like index of and chart at. And next tutorial, we're going to be going over probably the split and length method on strings. And have a good one, guys. This ended the tutorial, and uh, peace out.